I'll see you later. Be cheerful. Be good to mommy. Love you, honey. Love you. See you later. Bye. I'm leaving. Here's the gear. Well, my wife and kids just dropped me off here at the property. Um, I'm at the, the entrance, our future driveway where we plan it to be, roughly. Um, so they are headed out to go run some errands and I just need several hours out here to lay stuff out. Um, we've tried it, we've done it a couple times, um, the two of us and the girls and it's been, it's been okay, but it's been um, trying and challenging just because you can only expect a, a pregnant mama and two toddlers to have fun on a raw piece of land in the hot sun for so many hours. My goal for today is to put markers on all the property corners that I can see from the air and then fly my flying wing there above the property with a GoPro camera to see an overhead view. Make sure the road is straight and then measure off of there for a house and shop and all that. Um, I have a drone on order that I would love to receive. It's the phone drone. I was part of their uh, Kickstarter campaign that has it's been a year and a half, I think, so I'm, I'm very impatiently waiting for that to actually ship so I can have a drone to do stuff like this. But for now, I'm set up with the, the flying wing to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put like big blue tarps and those, the stack of yellow lids there in places like along the driveway and on the property corners, all that, so I can see it easily from the air. Did you know that if you're in a survival, an emergency situation, and you are trying to be visible from above. Tarp blue. I just, I heard it from a survival person. The blue tarp color stands out to the, to the eye the most as something that does not belong in nature. So there, that blue tarp is now on the corner of our property. The hope is that it'll be visible enough from the air. So now I'm gonna walk to the other property corner and put up another tarp. So this will be the, the, the northeast property corner that we'll do next. This is going to be a bit of a hike and then I'll start packing stuff in to the rest of the property. You're coming with me. Welcome to the new Wiley property. We are still needing to close on the property, so I'm not doing anything that is permanent. All the stakes I put in, all the tarps I lay down, all that is temporary and can be pulled up again. I'm going to pull the tarps up today when I'm done. Alright, so here's here's our home base for the next couple hours. My plan is that I'm just going to get this thing airborne up straight above the center of the property. Oh, I see. Um, and, and then just do a nosedive straight down. And hopefully I can get the whole property in view and see all the markers that I that I put out. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. All right, I think that'll be good. So I had planned to launch the plane from the road, which is on the north side of our property, but uh, the sun is so north is that way. The sun is right there. So if I was over there, I would be looking right up at the sun while I was flying the plane, trying to tell what direction it's pointing and all that. So I've come here to the south side of the property. So I've got a wide or a, a pretty open path right here um, so I can take off and land in this opening. Here's hoping.
Okay, I'm gonna try the first dive right now. See how that turned out. Lots of bugs. Okay, I'm getting ready for another dive. Whoa. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> A hawk up there is checking me out. Now I'm really high. Let's try a dive. Try one more and then I'll try to land. Whoa, that's interesting. I want to come over here. I want to do a low pass. Sort of low pass. again and do another low pass. Practice setting myself up. Well, that works. <laughs> Let's go find it, huh? I hit that big tree right there. I was trying to do a little pass and, and then go around again, but I ended up pointing right at the tree right as I applied power again. Oh well, good thing the thing's durable. There it is. Let's see if it's okay. It's stabbed. It got skewered. Oh well, good thing it's foam. GoPro survived. Wow, got a like a pollen blob right in its eyeball. Look, I didn't notice that. I don't know if you can see that. See the propeller blade is missing. I whacked it. I must have hit a branch with it. See that one's pointed and that one's not anymore. Well, bummer, I have a few spare props. I might just carve this one down to match and keep going. We'll see. All right, let's get back to base camp and get some footage off and see if I got something useful. So this has been my base camp for the day. Rigged up a little bit of a shade. Okay, so here we're looking at the footage. I didn't really get much useful footage, unfortunately. It's too shaky. Um, especially with this aircraft, you have to bank to do anything. So, yeah, unfortunately it's not very useful. I might have to mount the, the camera on the bottom of the plane and then just try to fly straight, just level passes back and forth. That'd be a lot easier, more predictable. Okay, well, at least we had fun. Um, I'm going to take a serious look at the mount, see if, it's, if I can configure it upside down, um, and we'll go from there. I was looking at the footage one more time and realized that I did actually get um, a little glimpse that will be helpful. So I'll try to find that again here. Boom. That's pretty good. So here in this shot we can see there's there's the northwest corner. There's the center of the of the western property line. And there's the southwest corner. There's the big tree. That's kind of a landmark. Here is the driveway, there's one yellow mark, so that's where the ho the, the shipping container would be right uh, here. There's the center of the driveway, there's the entrance to the driveway. I can get some use from this at least, because I see that for one thing, our property line, we did a decent job of making it straight. It's slightly curved outward, like this center mark is out a little bit from the corners, but it's fisheye. So I would expect it to be out a little bit. 
this line is is slightly curved but not too bad it's pretty straight and it's relatively parallel to the property line so I think we did a decent job of measuring that I think I'll go ahead and try mounting the camera on the underside of the plane and go up for another flight see what I get but that right there I'll take a screenshot of that um, that's that's uh, at least useful first I'll lay out some things where I, I estimate that the house and shop and office building and all that would be which is right near here um, I'll go ahead and lay that stuff out with some bright stuff to see um, and, then I'll, and then I'll go flying again that way I can see all of it at once hopefully so let's see let's do that